Hi guys, how are you all doing? Hope everyone is doing well. Today's video, I am coming to talk about some liquid lipsticks that have had so much hype in terms of anticipation. I'm talking about these liquid lipsticks from MAC and uh, I only picked up three. They come in this bullet packaging. Um, some people didn't like the packaging. To me, the packaging looks fine. And so you've got like the typical MAC like bullet lid and then it comes in like this clear glass casing or clear plastic casing here so you can actually see the liquid lipstick through the casing this is the actual true color of the liquid lipstick that you're seeing in this you are getting 0.17 fluid ounces of you know liquid lipstick which to me is normal okay so when you open it up it comes with its wand inside now the wand itself isn't a really long wand so that i like I like the size of the wand. Um, the wand casing itself is clear um, on the inside and then it comes with a sponge tip applicator which isn't hard, it's a soft sponge but it has like a pointy tip to it. It's like kind of like a teardrop tip if that makes sense. So it's got like a pointy tip which makes it easy for you to kind of line your lips with it. So yeah, it's quite nice the applicator to be honest with you. So I do actually like that. It comes with men, I mean, they come with a lot of different shades. I can't remember how many, I'll put the total in an annotation in this video, but it comes with a lot of shades. As I said, I only picked up three of the shades because I just wanted to try them out um, and see if I like them. So in the UK, these are priced at 21 pounds each. Come again? Yes, you, you heard me right. Yeah, 21 pounds, I said that right, okay? I don't, understand the uk pricing of these to be quite honest with you like 21 pounds for what really in the us this is 20 dollars really <laughs> now i believe in the us a mac lipstick is 17 dollars and they're selling the liquid lipsticks for 20 dollars uh in the uk our mac lipsticks are 15 pounds 50 okay and this is 21 pounds so that means they're selling this at five pounds 50 more than the normal lipsticks not going to sit here and tell you that these things are worth the 21 pounds in my opinion okay now there are going to be some people that really love this okay but for me and my own personal experience this has not worked out well for me by the end of the day literally i had like a dark line yeah around my lips and the color had stained my lips but had literally disappeared <laughs> like you can definitely get cheaper and better than these liquid lipsticks i i just okay the color range is a lot of like pinks and purples and reds it doesn't transfer like if you just kiss like this okay you don't get any transfer so it is a matte liquid lipstick however as soon as you start eating anything with the slightest bit of moisture in it they just start coming off. I will say that my favorite color of the three that I have is this, which is the shade ha Oh Lady, and it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. It's the one I've swatched like randomly on my hand here, but it's the one I've swatched here. It's a gorgeous shade, and uh, you can see it, me apply it on my lips right now. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. Really, really like it. And um, it's a deep purple berry color, gorgeous, gorgeous color. The next shade that I really like in this, but I find to be streaky in this range is this, which is the one I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. And it is called High Drama. And this is a deep, deep, like dark purple, blackened purple kind of color. It is gorgeous. It's a beautiful, beautiful dark color, but it is streaky okay and that's it swatched i just swatched it there on my hand and also one trick to note is that when you're applying these liquid lipsticks you kind of have to stretch out your lip and apply it like that otherwise if you don't when you actually when it actually dries you're going to have gaps okay so you have to apply it with your lips kind of stretched out it's weird but you just do and then the last one that i've got is this one this one i thought i was going to love a bit more than i actually do this is the shade quite the standout it's an orange red kind of shade um and i thought i was going to really really like this shade but it comes out more like a coral orange which 
I didn't think it would. Um, I thought it was gonna come out more orangey red, but can you see how bright that is? Like, I'm gonna have to work with this a lot, like use a lot of like darker lip liners with this shade because it just comes out too bright for me. Um, but it's it's nice, but it's just too vibrant for me. I thought it was actually gonna be a, mo a lot more deeper than this. They're not the most uncomfortable on the lips, to be quite honest with you. And the formula is, it's not too runny and it's not too, too thick. So it's a nice consistency, a nice formula. They do dry down quite quickly. However, it does give you a little bit of time to like work it into your lips. They don't feel too drying on my lips. Like they, they don't feel uncomfortable on my lips, but they are the type of matte formula that does feel quite chalky on the lips. So yeah, just be aware of that if that is what you don't like about liquid lipsticks. Like for me, Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks don't have that chalkiness to them. My Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks don't have that chalkiness to them. So these have that chalky kind of feeling to them, which I just don't like. However, they are quite comfortable on the lips, okay? The only problem with this that I have really is the longevity of it as soon as I start eating and drinking and also the price range of it. Hopefully that was useful, guys. Um, definitely, if you want me to do any other video, then just let me know as per usual. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video very soon. Okay, take care, guys, and see you soon. Bye, ciao. This is the Laura Geller 20 Shades of...